Sorry guys, phone's giving me trouble tonight. It keeps turning off my tape. So, I saw 197.2 at the salad bowl and spacer. I spent a few minutes and I put some clay on it. I can see I already whacked it. We're going to try this with the salad bowl, the clay, and the spacer. Okay, sometimes when you test something, it just doesn't make any sense. I, I couldn't show you because I don't have enough hands to do to hold all this junk in place and uh, hold the camera. So I'm going to take the clay off and retest that and see see if we come up to 197.2 again. Okay, so I checked it again. It's 197.2. If I put clay on that inside sharp edge, I lose airflow. Doesn't make any sense, does it, guys? It's the way it is sometimes at airflow. And so it can be really tricky. Okay, you're going to say, man, that's hideous. That's uh, 1988. I was having problems welding. I think... <laughs> I think it was three and a half or four inch galvanized conduit. You're not supposed to weld galvanized, guys. But I had a piece and I cut it into segments and I welded it all together and I made myself an air cleaner base for the old work truck because I wanted it to have a smooth radius in and I couldn't find anything that was like that so I built it yeah it's old it's really ugly I still use it let's throw the big K&N on here and uh, you know what let's flow it exactly the way it is I should be able to do this because I don't need as many hands this time Okay, it looks like, uh, to me, it looks like 196.4. I'm actually a little far away from the uh, the screen, so if I goof these numbers up by a point here or a point there, don't crucify me. Now let's put the K&N on it and see if it uh, makes any difference. <laughs> Okay, because it's a welded base, it doesn't quite fit that carburetor. It's it's designed for my uh, my Holly fuel injection, so it, it hits a little bit. That means it doesn't sit all the way down, which causes some some airflow issues. FYI. Okay, after a little bit of fit, fiddling with the, the welded base, I got it to fit down as far as I could get it to fit down, and it did pick up a few CFM. It went from 196.4 to 200.7. Let me throw the K&N back on and see if that made any difference. <laughs> Okay, the garage is getting a little hotter, so it actually lost a tiny bit. I have to do my flow testing with the garage door closed, so we don't disturb the neighbors. We have to be a good neighbor, you know. So, what did we learn in this little segment? When guys take this carb and they modify it, what are they, what's the first thing they do to it? They cut this choke horn all, all the way off. They grind that right out. I put a big fat radius right around here, all right? Get it so the air can go in a little bit easier. I used to do stuff on like that, the carburetors all the time. They made uh, quite a quite a big difference. What's, I wouldn't say it necessarily made a huge amount of top end difference. It made more tip in difference, which, I thought was strange. That's how I remember it. It's ancient history ago. That's 80s carburetor stuff because 88 I went to fuel injection. All right, guys. Two shorties tonight because the damn phone act up. But it was kind of cool. I mean...
snub stack, right? Something simple. You can still get these. This has been modified for this. Uh, whatever this is. This is my 770 Truck Avenger. It had to get notched out to go around the, uh, the tubes and stuff. I wasn't thrilled about doing it, but... Uh, I'm pretty sure that was given to me by someone who said it didn't work. I kind of like the idea of uh, not cutting all the choke horn and stuff off. That's what it's designed to do. Instead of cutting off the choke horn, you put your snub stack on. And it, it's supposed to have a nice radius that goes in. I don't know why I had pieces of this removed. I don't remember. I may have had this on a fuel injection at one point. Eh, stuff that's been sitting around for ages. Okay. Salad bowl looks like it should help really well, right? Look at the nice radius it has for, for air to accelerate into the carb. It did all right, but it didn't do as well as the snub stack right on, right on the carb. It's also a little bit bigger in diameter than the carb, right? It's a little big on the diameter. You can see it doesn't quite fit right. I don't know what it was originally designed for, and I don't even know how I got it. And I'm pretty good about remembering things, but I kept it for uh, no good reason, I guess, because I don't think I'll ever use it for anything, but maybe some testing. Something simple like a spacer can make a difference. Just like when we were, were uh, you know, the spacer for the carb. <laughs> Same idea, really. It right? gives the chair an air, air a chance to straighten out before it goes into the barrels. You have to also remember, though, I mean, if you're going to put a 5-inch element in, better have the, the, the hood room. On the Chevelle, it just hits it just hits the nut. The hood just hits the nut. And I had to cable the engine down because if, uh, if I left it go right on the mounts, it would flex and hit. All right, guys. Enough fun for one night. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.